Hi, how's it going? So, I wanted to do a quick video today. It's not strictly Cray J90 project, slightly off topic, but I have made some progress. Uh, after the ID prom that Alex very kindly sent me showed up, we got a whole bunch more done. It's not quite there. It's still complaining that the contents are invalid. I don't know what that's about, because every time it starts it has a MAC address and a uh, serial number. But with some new Solaris Media, I have Solaris 9 installed on the machine, no problems there. CD comes up, everything looks good, finds all of the device, all of the devices, so some progress. I'm going to be kind of busy over the next 8 to 10 weeks. The youth soccer program has come in force around here and I was really trying not to coach this year. But they ran out of coaches, so I didn't really have a choice. So that's two to four days a week for the next eight to ten weeks. Uh, so that's going to put a squeeze on trying to get some content out. I apologize. I know. I know. Anyway, so I wanted to get through a quick one today though because I've run up against this firmware update thing. And I thought if anybody else was out there and was trying to figure it out, maybe they'd stumble across the video, maybe I can be of some use to this week. Unfortunately, you're still going to have to deal with this uh, cool whoop whoop raster thing going on. I did find a 30W32 VGA cable uh, with a whole bunch of dip switches on it, but in its native form, as in what it's set to right now, it doesn't work. And these dip switches are used to decide which pins on one side make it through to the other. Now, the RGB, obviously, but how the ground show up and um, the horizontal and the vertical sync, whether there's a composite sync involved, things like that. There's also three sense pins which tell the sun what kind of monitor it's attached to. And so uh, by flipping dip switches on this cable, you can fake the sun out into what kind of monitor it's talking to. Unfortunately, figuring out the pinout for this is not as obvious easily as I was obviously easy as I was expecting it to be. So uh, on that score, you're going to have to bear with me still, but I am working on that one as well. Anyway, upgrading the firmware on a Sun Ultra 2 running Solaris 9. So. We have the sun sitting at the ID prompt. We're running Open Boot version 3.7. So we tell it to boot into Solaris 9. And here we go. Firmware in the system does not support the 64-bit OS. Please upgrade to at least 3.11.2. So what it's saying is that it can't load the 64-bit kernel because something inside the PROM doesn't support it. Not quite sure what. Conveniently, however, the update procedure is pretty trivial because because the system has the PROM update routine built into Solaris 9 which includes the later version so yes we would really like to do this We've got 3.7, we're going to go to 3.11. Now there's actually a hint as to what's going wrong here on the screen, but we'll carry on because we're inept. Yes, I know that that's set up that way. Couldn't determine flash prom, check jumper J2003, and it's going to bounce. So what it's complaining about is the prom I see on the board is right protected by a dip switch. So by default, you can't monkey with it. So, that's what we've got to work on right now. So this is the inside of our Ultra 2. Uh, my Ultra 2. We have the frame buffer card, the QFE, the quad fast ethernet, and then the two QLogic SCSI controllers, one on top of the other. J2003 is under my QFE. And it's this bad boy right here. So it's this one right here. So that is the center of the five. And we'll take our needle nose nippers and pull it out of the 
right protect position and pop it into the right enable position. Easy. All right, now let's take a second run at this, shall we? Why, yes, I intend to. Oh, thank you. That sounds lovely. Oh, yes. Well, I'm quite sure. Hooray! That made me nervous. Hooray! 311! My ID prom contents are still invalid. I don't know what the hell it wants. Oh. Firmware password. I ask you. That's twice I've been bloody nervous now. 64 bit. And that would be right when the disc in my camera failed. Handy. Anyway, we have successfully updated the open boot prom on my Ultra 2. We're now running 311, which is good news, and 64-bit Solaris, which looks a lot like 32-bit Solaris, but it's 64-bit! Anyway, the only thing left to do is to flip J2003 back to the right protect setting for a good measure, and the action is over. Anyways, I know this was a real quick one, and I know it's not particularly interesting for everybody who's watching the Cray Project, but I appreciate you watching. Thank you so very much for the comments. And I will try to get something out to you guys as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. You have a good day now.